Hey everyone, so today I am going to be doing my makeup collection slash vanity tour. I'm also going to be doing a room tour very soon, but basically this is where I store all my makeup on um, one corner of my room. I'm going to back up so you guys can kind of see. Uh, so that's my vanity. That's kind of the layout, and it's just in one corner of my room. I'm going to do the vanity first and then get into the makeup um, the actual makeup collection. This uh, vanity is actually from Pier 1. It's the Hayworth vanity. And this chair right here, ignore the hot mess that's down there. Um, I was moving around stuff in my room and I have a bunch of like charging cables and stuff. But um, this chair I got from Ikea. And I think it matches the vanity really well goes really well to together and the mirror I also got from Ikea I decided not to go with the Hayworth vanity mirror I just went with this one because I felt like it went with um, like my room decor and stuff a little bit better so this is what my vanity looks like so I have my light up mirror here it's kind of dirty at the moment excuse that over here I just have my daily essential perfumes and stuff um, I have my flower bomb from Victor and Rolf, my Taylor Swift one, and a Sui one. I have some deodorant and more perfume back there. Um, back here are palettes. So I have four MAC palettes and my Urban Decay one. And I just got an envelope holder from Target to kind of store them there. These are my brushes. i got to clean some of them. Some of them are really dirty, but... Um, so my favorite brushes are actually these ones by Sigma, the uh, Miss Bunny brushes. So I have a, quite a few of those. My face brushes are in this one. Um, I have an Anasubi brush holder here with my other face brushes. And then my eye brushes are just in this mug. So that's that. Um, going down here a little bit. I have my two eye creams from History of Who. They're my fave at the moment. Um, I have some CC cream and stuff like that from different Korean brands. Um, this Apple one is my moisturizer. Back here I have just, these are actually brand new lip products right here that I'm trying. Um, an eyeshadow that needs to be depotted and some like everyday lip products there. And have another perfume. And then I have more perfume over here. My Lola and Vera Wang Princess. I have a um, highlight powder there from MAC. And some proactive skincare stuff. I'll move those so you guys can see what's behind there. So I have this. And um, it's just like a jewelry tree. It just holds all my earrings and all my rings and stuff like that. Um, I have some foundation back there that I don't really use and a lamp over there this thing I got actually got for Christmas from my mom it's like a little um, wine glass with a Hello Kitty inside and I just kind of put my eyelash curler in there this right here is what I store my daily essentials in and some lip products of course um, I'm actually probably gonna do like an in-depth uh, vanity tour in a couple videos from now I guess and I'll explain really what everything is and the colors and stuff like that. But I'm just going to do a quick overview. So um, I got this container actually from eBay. It was around $40. Um, not worth it in my opinion because it's tiny. I'd rather have just uh, saved my money and bought a clear cube or something. But yeah, up here I have some lip liners. I have a BB cream. And then here are some lip products. Different ones. I have Lime Crime and MAC. And I have my like daily skincare stuff back there, some proactive, some tweezers, um, this BB cream, some Fix Plus, and then the drawers right here. I have my eye stuff in the top one, like mascaras and like eyebrow stuff, all that good stuff. And the second drawer, I have my skin or face stuff. I have like primers. This is a highlighter powder, some concealer, different stuff like that, and I have a lip butter. And the final drawer here, I have my blushes, my everyday kind of blushes. This one is my fave at the moment. 
And then this vanity actually has um, one drawer. Just one, so it kind of sucks. It doesn't store a lot of stuff, but um, I do keep quite a few things. These are like my daily essential type products or stuff that I'm currently trying out. I usually put a lot of the new stuff I buy in here so I can, you know, try them out and see if I like them. I have um, like my bronzer, eyeshadow palettes, I have pigments here at the bottom. This is kind of like disorganized just a little bit, but I can still find my way around it. I have some single eyeshadows. My Urban Decay palettes, my MAC palette back there, my Hourglass, um, two ambient lighting palettes, a blush, and some uh, MAC lipsticks there. Moving on to my actual uh, makeup storage here. This uh, drawer, I'll just show you guys kind of how it looks. This drawer set I actually got from Ikea. It's called the Alex. And um, what I keep here on top is just um, some skincare stuff back there. Some tanning lotion that I'm going to have a review on very soon. It's by Sun Goddess. Um, I have just these. I got for Christmas for my friend and I thought it would look really cute on here. Some candles and some like makeup compacts there. So the first drawer is basically a mess. It's like miscellaneous stuff. Um, stuff I haven't opened yet. Like I have mascaras here that are like backups and I have powder puffs. These are all like sample size stuff I got from Sephora. That sort of thing. And more sample stuff. Stuff I haven't opened yet. And you know like makeup bags. These are all like samples I get from like Korean beauty products and stuff. I get a ton of samples, kind of keep them in there and I use them once in a while so they're back there. That's the first drawer. The second drawer here is all like eye bases and stuff. I have an Urban Decay makeup bag there, I don't know why it's up there. but. Um, yeah, these are all my, like, Maybelline Infallible eyeshadows, or, or, these are all my, like, L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows. I have, um, these bases from Maybelline, they're the color tattoos. I have different, um, like, cream eyeliners and stuff. And then at the back, back here, I just have some extra NYX Jumbo eyeshadow pencils and glitter eyeliners that I barely use. And then all the way back here are my Physician's Formula eyeliner sets. This next drawer here is my eyeshadow palettes, like smaller eyeshadow palettes. Like I have quads and I have these like travel size ones. This one is by Too Faced. I have some MAC, some Dior, and these MAC ones are mostly like from different collections, like limited edition collections. I have some NARS eyeshadow palettes, um, Urban Decay, under here I have Victoria's Secret, my Sigma Creme de Couture palette, which I love, some um, Kat Von D, Lime Crime, and more MAC and Dior and stuff like that. So that is that drawer. The next drawer here is all my MAC compacts, and yes, I am quite a hoarder. I love collecting compacts from different collections from MAC, so I have a ton of them. I have, um, these are mostly mineralized skin finishes and stuff from different collections. I love mineralized skin finishes. So, I have quite a few there. I have, like, the older compacts, like Heatherette's, uh, Fafi. This one is the um, Catherine Devenu collection. I have a uh, novel twist. And I have different powders here that I haven't used. I have like my Rihanna one. And my two bronzers from the Alluring Aquatic collection. There's more back there. Um, let's see, I have my like my lure powder. Um, more mineralized skin finishes and you know from Dame Edna just MAC and then over here I have some Laura Geller powders blushes and stuff and my Leo Ellie powder 
My next drawer here is blushes. I tried to kind of organize this the best way I could, but as you guys can see, I don't have like drawer organizers and everything. Everything just kind of, I just fit in there or whatever. Um, so this drawer is kind of a little bit of a mess, but I can still find my blushes. So over here are like MAC blushes. I have a lot of the uh, like mineralized ones and stuff like that here. And then I have like the special edition, of course, these kind of blushes. And yeah, so those are like mostly MAC. I have Makeup Forever, uh, Rock and Republic blushes there. Back here I have some Tarte. And on this side I have um, just like different brands. I have Tarina Ter Tarantino, uh, The Bomb, Too Faced, and these are Sigma, Physicians Formula. What is this? Alamasca. I have some more MAC back there. Um, Jill Stewart, Physician's Formula. I have a bunch more right there from Physician's Formula. And I believe this is like from Lee Swache. So the, this is all my blushes, pretty much. And this one is probably my favorite drawer. If I had to have a favorite drawer, this is this would probably be it. This is all my MAC lipsticks uh, for the most part. Uh, I have a few backups that aren't that aren't in here, and of course, I have some on my vanity. But this is pretty much almost all my MAC lipsticks. So um, back there, I actually have like some lip gloss and stuff like that. Uh, like dazzle glasses, lip jellies, all that good stuff. Back here are like backups and stuff that I haven't used yet. Um, and in here are mostly my MAC lip glosses. See what I mean? I told you guys I have quite a bit of um, lip gloss that I'm working on finishing up and stuff. So I have like two layers of it or three layers of it. They're mostly like from limited edition collections and stuff. Those are my lip glosses. Over here are some more um, lipsticks. And these are basically how I store them. I store them in plastic containers upside down so I can read all the names and stuff if I want to find a particular shade or whatever. Um, and these are Depots. So this one actually is Angel from MAC. And this one is Lazy Day. And basically once I get down to the bottom of a tube of lipstick, I will depot it into like smaller containers like this depending on the color if I really like it or whatever so that's Angel and Lazy Day so I have a couple there these are mostly my limited edition lipsticks and then here and then here are my other limited edition lipsticks that I haven't used because I collect them and sometimes I don't use them so I have like my Heatherette ones here from like 2008 and then I have like my Dame Edna ones um, Alluring Aquatic. I have some Rihanna lipsticks in here that I have actually used, but I just keep them in its boxes because I don't know why. <laughs> but um, I have some Kelly Osborne and stuff like that. These are these ones are actually backups, and I have my Toledo ones here. More Heather Red and the Manish Aurora one. So that is my lip product drawer. And guess what? I have another lip product drawer because I'm a hoarder of lip products. I just I love lipsticks and lip glosses and whatever so um this next drawer here is mostly like obviously they're not mac so they're basically my non-mac uh lip products except for this tender tone here now that i see it but uh for the most part these are drugstore lip products right here and um like my high-end ones are over here on this side i keep them in their boxes so i have my like ysl ones um and Sui, Chanel, and then these ones are like Korean. And then the next drawer here is all like single eyeshadows and pigments. Wow, that's not focused. Okay, there we go. So my single eyeshadows and pigments and stuff. So I have a lot of these like Rock and Republic eyeshadows. These are MAC pigments. 
different like single MAC eyeshadows, Joe Fresh eyeshadows. And then back there I have like different, I have more pigments in this one. These are all MAC mineralized eyeshadows right here. I had, an, I had an obsession with these back in the day, so I have a ton of them. I have some more pigments, and back there are actually my drugstore like eyeshadow palettes and quads and stuff. Um, I have a lot of the Wet n Wild ones actually back there as well as NYX. And then in this last drawer here, I just basically have a bunch of my palettes. And some random stuff. So this is actually a pigment set from the holidays from MAC I haven't actually used yet. Um, my Urban Decay palettes, I kind of switched them out from the ones that are in my vanity to these ones. This is like my summer palette. A lot of my Urban Decay palettes are actually down here, like the bigger ones, the Vice palettes. This is actually a Chanel highlight powder from this past holiday collection. And um, back there are Urban Decay Coastal Scents, Coastal Scents palettes, more Coastal Scents palettes, um, my Sephora like Jasmine palette, um, Benefit palettes, and yeah, that's pretty much it. All just palettes. I hope you guys enjoyed my makeup collection video. Um, I, I will be doing an in-depth uh, vanity tour very soon. So pretty much it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.